The working of the propulsion control circuit will be explained under the following headings. A. Generator field contact circuit or the GF circuit. B. Reverse circuit. C. Position of BKT. D. Motor contact circuit in series or 2S3P combination and in parallel or 6P combination and E. Function of motor cutout switch. The role of generator field contactor circuit or the GF circuit in diesel locomotives is similar to main switch in any general electrical system. When the GF is closed, electrical power is available from traction generator or the traction alternator. Therefore, the interlocks of protective devices are provided in generator field contactor circuit so that in the event of fault, GF is open and power from traction generator or the traction alternator is withdrawn. The main source of current to the propulsion control circuit is cable number 13, which is energized during the starting of the locomotive through circuit breakers master fuel pump breaker 1 and master fuel pump breaker 2 from positive cable number 50 as is being shown to you in the starting circuit. The current flow in the propulsion control circuit is as follows. Current from cable number 13 energizes the throttle handle interlocks positioned 1 to 8 and the generator field cutout switch on both the control stands energizing cable number 6. This current further flows through BKT interlock 66A, ECS run interlock 6A6B, GR interlock 6C6D, BKT interlock 6D6E, TR interlock 6E6F, CK3 interlock 6F6H and energizes the GF contactor coil and completes its path through cable number 4. When the throttle handle is in idle position, the position of reverser can be changed either to forward or reverse mode with the help of the reverser handle. Forward or reverse coil of reverser gets supply from cable number 6. When the reverser is in forward position, the source of current is cable number 8. The current flows towards the left or the right control stand selector handle motoring interlock 613A and energizes the forward coil of the reverser via the forward direction interlock 13A8 of the reverser. Similarly, when the reverser is in reverse position, the source of current is Y number 0. The current flows towards the left or the right control stand selector handle motoring interlock 613A and energizes the reverse coil of the reverser via the reverse direction interlock 13A0 of the reverser. Current in cable number 6 will energize the motoring coil of BKT which throws the BKT into motoring position. At speeds below the specified local track speed, higher torque is required. To achieve this, the traction motors are connected in 2 series 3 parallel combination through 3 series power contactors each having two traction motors in series across the traction alternator. This is called the series parallel or 2S3P combination. On forward position of the reverser handle, the current from cable number 8 flows via the interlocks of forward reverser 88A 
BKR, ECS, TR, GF, MCOS, P1, cable number 8M, the operating coils of the series power contactors S1, S21 and S31 and completes the path through cable number 4. To achieve higher speed above the specified speed, transition takes place and all the six traction motors get connected in parallel. When parallel transition takes place, the transition relay changes position from 8F to 8L. The TR interlocks open. Because of this, the GF drops. The operating coils of the parallel power contactors P1, P21, P31, P2, P22 and P32 are energized through the interlocks of reverser, BKR, ECS, BKT, TR and cable number 8L. Interlocks of the parallel power contactors P32 and P2 close and the GF picks up. As the GF coil gets energized, the GF contact opens and the supply to operating coils of power contactor P2, P22 and P32 via GF is cut off. But these operating coils continue to receive supply via cable 8E. The motor cutout switch is manually operated with normal position of all in. Any one of the six traction motors can be isolated from the pass circuit by selecting the suitable position of motor cutout switch which isolates the concerned traction motor by isolating the parallel power contactors as follows. So, for example, if motor cutout switch or the MCOS is at position number 4, power contactor P1 will be de-energized and the traction motor 4 will be isolated. The dynamic braking will be deactivated by opening of interlock 2323A. GF will pick up through the interlock of MCOS 6D6F MCOS interlock 8F8FF will open and the operating coils of the series contactors S1, S21 and S31 will be de-energized. When the MCOS interlock 8F8L closes the TR interlock is bypassed and the logo comes to parallel combination due to the energization of operating coils of parallel power contactors P21, P31, P2, P22 and P32.